American Gigolo. Paramount Television Studios will be filming American Gigolo. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Lux Report channel. You guys have been asking me, I've had numerous, lots and lots of comments and messages saying you want updates, you want updates, send me the updates of the Timepiece Gentleman Saga. The saga that never ends and the gift that keeps on giving. Well, today's your lucky day. I have a update for you, um, so make sure you watch the whole video till the very end to get all of the details on the Timepiece Gentleman Saga. So first up, let's get into it. What does the email say? It says, Darby C. Below, owner sent me an email direct with a few questions. Let me know if you can provide Frank with financials and explain the scandal, perhaps. Marcella sent me Darby's application. Chances are they're good tenants. However, I'm a very cautious landlord and a few factors are giving me some concerns. He said, uh, new employees to LA for an employer, employer that has an online scandal. I got approved for the first one and this one, I, I thought I was until yeah. he brought that up. So the scandal may keep you from getting the apartment. Yeah. I know he was telling me that your owner found the articles online of this supposed scandal right uh, which we've tried to get pr to remove it it wasn't a scandal it was a pr stunt so it seems that the so-called scandal the blackout is stopping them renting an apartment in la the owner of the apartment or house has done a bit of searching on the timepiece gentleman uh and they didn't like what they found regarding the blackout scandal and they're refusing to rent to Derby. So this little blackout is turning into an absolute nightmare for them. This so-called marketing genius that decided to just shut shop, disappear for a little while without any uh, notice, warning, heads up for what it was regarding is biting them in the backside. So, um, yeah, being refused to rent because of the scandal. Now, moving swiftly on, do you remember a few months ago, I think it was probably about two months ago now, um, just need to go double-check exact time frame, but do you remember that huge robbery that um, Marco was involved in for the timepiece gentleman in LA where they had I believe it was around 1.2 million dollars worth of jewelry uh, not jewelry watches robbed from them at gunpoint do you remember that yeah so Anthony Ferrer is now in Los Angeles and it seems he hasn't learned from what happened in LA regarding the robbery and he's basically on the streets of LA with hundreds of thousands of dollars of luxury timepieces out in the open on the streets showing them off uh, packaging them repackaging them opening boxes um, showing them off on the on the street and you can see uh, random people, members of the public, just walking on by, walking past their car. If the wrong person walks past that car and gets a slight glimpse of what is in their hands, it's going to be disaster. They're going to snatch it, grab and run for their lives down the street. And they know L.A., the locals know L.A. a lot more than Anthony would. And those timepieces, or one or two of them, would be snatched and taken away, never to be seen again. It just boggles my mind how someone that has had experience of a robbery, losing money from a theft, in L.A., and then you go to L.A., and then you're um, opening boxes of expensive uh, luxury timepieces on the streets, and you basically got your hand out waiting for someone to snatch it off you. It's not even on your wrist, it's just in your hand. Anyone can just snatch and grab, see you later. And there's not just one uh, incidence of this happening. 
on their latest video that they've published is numerous. I've counted three times, just quickly swifting through that video. I've counted three times, three different times where they've had watches on the streets, watches uh, in a car where the car door's wide open and he's just standing there filming the watches uh, with his hands out of the car on the street holding up the watches. Uh, in an alleyway, uh, in front of a, in front of a, sh looks like a, a shop door, or some kind of, um, on the floor basically, <laughs> like three really nice expensive watches on the floor, and this on the street in LA is absolutely mind-boggling. Of course I'm wearing a watch. I'm a watch dealer. Yeah, yes, the life of Jimmy Choo, bro. Is this yours? Yeah. The one you always have. Did you order my bulletproof vest yet? Did you get the stab-proof one too? Dude, no, there's one that's bulletproof and stab-proof. I want both. Both, yeah, Just for sure. Case. I Because I will definitely stab all of you. I know, this literally, literally looks like you're going to Okay, so moving swiftly on forward. Anthony Furrer, the timepiece gentleman, is now... Uh, offering everyone an amazing, absolutely epic deal. I have never seen such an amazing deal ever in my life and never in the luxury timepiece industry. Check this out. On his Instagram page, is offering uh, this timepiece is available for sale. He says the following. I do not want to sell this piece, but I am funding my LA venture 100% on my own. And right now, having money working for me is more important than having a badass watch collection. So, 100,000 US dollars, whoever buys this, I will guarantee you a buyback of $20,000 over your cost or market price, whichever is higher, within six months. He says, I want this piece in my collection long term, so I will do what it takes to get it back. So, you buy it today, $100,000, six months time, you get 120,000 smackaroonies in your pocket cash, cold, hard cash, no questions asked. Well, that's why it seems. I, there's more, I believe there's more to it and there's more watches with this exclusive deal. So let's check out the other watches and other deals that he has. This particular piece, $220,000 US guaranteed buyback of $250,000 within six months. And he says, nobody else will do this. Only Anthony Ferrer, timepiece gentleman. Guaranteed money back guarantee, six months of 250. You're gonna make $30,000 for doing nothing but holding this watch for six months. And then apparently give it back to him and he'll give you 250,000 in six months. We have another one. $150,000 AP guaranteed buyback at $170,000 within six months. That's $20,000 profit in your pocket. Pure cash, baby. Guaranteed buyback. I don't know how he's doing that. I don't get it. I really don't. How is he offering an extra $20,000, $30,000? guaranteed buyback in six months the price of these watches are not going to go up that much in six months six months is a little quite a long time to be honest in this current climate of the current world there could be a new world war there could be another conflict there could be more goings on in ukraine it could spill out over into deeper europe there could be a, another global crisis. There could be another 
COVID uh, outbreak. Then if you check out China, China is in lockdown at the moment. Multiple, multiple cities of 10, 20, 30 million, 50, 100 million people locked down in China right this second because they're having the biggest uh, resurgent of COVID in China. If that spills out into the rest of the world and then the world goes into lockdowns, I don't know. What about crypto? What if crypto crashes? Uh, are these watches going to go down with them? It's a messy world right now, and I would not be offering money-back guarantees and plus extra 20, 30K on top. Uh, I don't get it. Maybe he knows something that I don't. But um, apparently, Marco Nicolini is not doing the same deal, and it's only with Anthony. Marco has nothing to do with it. He doesn't want to touch it. He doesn't want anything to do with it. He's staying very clear away from it. And I don't blame Marco. I wouldn't want anything to do with it. Um, and what happens if there's any uh, comeback from this? Will this turn into another scandal? Who knows with Anthony Ferrer? Who knows what's on in his mind? Um, is he expecting a big payday in six months' time? Uh, why is he suddenly able to offer all of these watches and give a huge markup on top in six months? Um, yeah, crazy stuff. Anyone? Have you seen anyone else in this world, watch world, offering such deals? Let me know in the comments. Uh, for sure, Marco's not doing it, and he is part of the Timepiece Gentleman uh, company. I'm going to go over all that because it's not all particularly relevant. Um, that's not a weird growth in your foot. That's more, I didn't tell you to hike your pants up, so call that, a little bit of that there. It's an ankle monitor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, yeah, so this is the basic. So let me know what do you think about all of that. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Is this building up to be another scandal from the timepiece gentleman Anthony Ferrer? Offering money back guarantees plus extra cash on top. And what are the terms and conditions for the buyback? I've actually sent emails from multiple email addresses uh, and also to multiple um, email addresses for Anthony and the timepiece gentleman. I've actually received no reply. No, no reply. Their customer service sucks uh, because I've sent them an email, numerous emails to all of their business accounts and private personal accounts asking for information on the terms and conditions of their money back guarantee. No reply. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please do subscribe to Lux Report. For all the latest updates, click on the bell icon, click to receive all notifications, and we'll keep you updated on all the latest happenings in the watch world. <laughs>